everybody, Sandy here, and I am on my third video for In Love Art Shop. You have to check them out if you haven't yet. I will put below in the description the links for all the products that I'm using, along with the links from my previous two videos for them. Um, check out InLoveArts.com. This is awesome. I'm having a lot of fun. As you can tell, I am having a lot of fun with these products. <laughs> Um, so, okay, so I'm going to show you some die cuts and some stamps that came in my order. These are ones that I went ahead and purchased. Um, they did give me my first order just as a trial to see what I thought to partner up with them. And, yeah, I thought a lot. I thought it was great. So I'm working on my third order now. I'm loving it. So if they want to give me more, that would be good. No, <laughs> this really is. These are a lot of fun. So let's just jump in and get started. Um, like I said, shipping is between, for me, was six to 10 days. They have warehouses here in the um, US. So yeah, you don't have to wait months for your shipping and the price point is phenomenal. So let's see, which one do I wanna start with? Let's start with the cupcake. Okay, the cupcake came in this die set right here. The three pieces do come apart, but I like to keep my dies together so I don't lose them. When I cut this out, it cut out everything that you see in the white. So it cuts out the white. This purple part is um, also cuts out white. I went ahead and I inked it in the Distress Oxide ink. This part here cut out all these little pieces, but I wanted a solid piece. So what I did is I just glued this to a piece of cardstock and then I fussy cut at the cardstock. So that gave me a solid piece for underneath where my icing would be. Easy peasy, easy fix. I have another trick for something else I'm going to do on another video on how to keep those together, so stay tuned. I went ahead and I stamped the So Sweet of You, which is on the sentiment stamps, and I love them. They stamped like a dream, the So Sweet of You. I did it in the purple um, wilted violet uh, distress oxides, and I went ahead and I glitter embossed. So yes, you can emboss with your Distress Oxides. They're wet enough to emboss. I glitter emboss, so there are some sparkles. I made the little banners with the same ink. Same for here. I went ahead and used the ink, the Victoria Velvet and Wilted Violet. And I just really like how this came. This design here at the top actually came with the card. It was one of those design card kits that I bought. You buy like 20. And so I just inked it up and then glittered it with my embossing pen and then sprinkled the same glitter on. Easy card and look how cute, it's so sweet. So, okay, so that is the cupcake die. So that's there. Um, this die here is this lacy doily die with the rose. Love this die, look how pretty that is. This is another one, everything you see cut out in the gray. This is actually Distressed Oxide's black soot but it looks like a very, very dark charcoal. And that's the black soot. And then I went ahead and glittered the heck out of it with my Winka Stella glitter pen. The Celebrate Your Day was the same stamp here. Celebrate Your Day. But as you notice, it's a little bit different because what I did is I took my embossing pen and I went ahead and embossed put embossing on the celebrate your and then I embossed that in white and then I lined up the day I used the embossing clean this and then use the embossing point pen for day so that way the celebrate your day um, is vertical not so that way it fit better so that's a really cool trick if you want to you don't have to stamp your uh, your sentiment stamps the way there are if you have the embossing you can go ahead and I mean heck if I just want to do celebrate I can go ahead and just use my embossing and just um, ink up the celebrate put on some powder on it and there I'm good to go so love that same with the smile I can do the smile celebrate or just so sweet or sweet of you and forget the so love 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 these are great great sentiment stamps so this is just washi tape. That's just a little off center when I did it. <laughs> but that's what makes homemade cards the best. <laughs> I put some sequins on. Now if you see here, the washi tape meets up perfect with the die. I just use my craft knife and cut out the washi tape. 
So I love how this came out. I love this color combo too. The gray and this aqua. I love, love the color combo. So that was this one here, this die here. That is a big, I can see me using that one a lot. Okay, so that was my second one. And then my other die is these four. They came together, these floral wreath dies. Okay, so there's those two. And I made, of course, four cards using all the dies. Now, um, they came in a set of four. So we have one with leaves. We have one with berries. We have a bubble one and we have a heart one okay these were a lot of fun to use now I will give you a disclaimer <laughs> these are wafer thin these are thin dies okay they are not indestructible they do <laughs> and this is not in love art shops fault this was Sandy Hensel being a dweeb fault what happened is it got stuck um, under my big kick the foot of my big kick and I'm just hurrying up and cleaning everything and I grabbed it not realizing and I did that boo hoo however after I did that I went ahead and I cut out perfectly <laughs> so it still cuts it still cuts no problem it is still a keeper you just be a little gentle with your dice <laughs> Don't be like Sandy and be a dweeb. <laughs> okay, so well, let's do this one first. Okay, so that's this card here. I went ahead and cut out in the blue. This is a pre-made card. So this is all one piece. It's one of those card kits. Did a little slit to put in my ribbon. Um, so what I did is I cut this out first. Then I saved the berry pieces. And I cut it out again in the blue cardstock and I put the berry pieces in like an inlay. Absolutely love how this came out. Then I went ahead and I got faded jeans, distressed inks. I matched up my inks, my ink so it matched my paper. So that's distressed oxide. Not distressed, that's distressed oxide. Love distressed oxide. And then it's clear emboss. So I love embossing with it. And then this side here is just a piece of acetate that I went ahead and I glued down at the top and bottom. So that is You Are a Blessing to me. That is this stamp right here. And look how nice that stamps. Love that. Okay, so that was this stamp here. Okay, there is, and there is that, there is that. Um, next one here, we'll take the Love You. And this is the heart. I went ahead and I stamped out in the burgundy cardstock. I used my um, Nuvo, um, Nuvo, Nuvo drops. That's it, Nuvo drops, and colored in the hearts. Put some little gems on. This is the Love You, and that is you've seen these in all my videos. I think that's this big stamp. Um, you actually get four. Let me see, you get love you, thinking of you, stay blessed, and best wishes. And then the happy birthday was separate. But I have, I absolutely love these big word um, dies. So that's the love you. And I went ahead and I actually embossed the love you. I wish you could see it in purple person. So cool. It's a texture paper, black texture paper that I, I cut out. And then I embossed it like seven times. It is so cool in person. And I just put it on some polka dot cardstock. Such an easy card to do. Look at how fun and easy that is. So that was the heart. And that is the bubble. This one, of course, was really, this is the one with the leaves. And that was this one right here. I went ahead and I knew, used my Nuva Drops just to kind of give me some interest on the leaf part some pattern paper this is the I'm so grateful for you and that is down here at the bottom I'm so grateful for you love look at how that love it now this was the oh the orange I don't know my colors on my distress oxides that's so bad of me this one was an orange though um, and then I clear embossed that and then these flowers 
love these flowers. I went ahead and colored them with my chameleon pens. But these are these oil print flowers, I think is what the website calls them. And I just fussy cut. So I did this one and this one. And then I fussy cut them out and I just put them on the wreath. So look at how nice that's stamped. So I have to say, this is probably one of my favorites. I really love the whole design of that card. I love them all, actually. I can't say. Yeah, I love them all. <laughs> now, last but not least was this berry one. And I cut out the berries, and but I wanted um, a little bit more because I wanted to tie in. It was too pink for me. And I cut it out in the pink cardstock, and then I did the um, Viva pen in the red. But I decided to cut out another leaf one. And what I did is I cut out the leaf one, and I cut out the red one, and then I snipped the red one into um, three sections. So I have like section one, section two, and section three. And I tucked it in on the wreath. And I wish, and I put the brown Nouveau drops too. I wish you could see how this just came out so cool. So what I did for these two is, is these are just layered. These are two dyes wreaths put together so that you have the leaves and then you have the berries to go on the leaf. And like I said, I just went ahead and I did the brown and the red. And I just love how it came out. It came out so cool. This one was the thank you for being so thoughtful. That one here. So I think I went ahead and I used every single stamp here. I used all of the dies here um, along with the rose label die and the cupcake. So I really hope you like how these came out. Um, I don't like to do just haul videos. I like to show you what I actually made make with my goodies. Um, so I hope this inspires you. And of course, please give a thumbs up and hit that bell. I was a bell. Bell was my main name. I was Sandy Bell. That bell was made for me. <laughs> Click on that bell to get more notifications. And please hop over to Scrapbooks Blessings Club on Facebook. We'd love to see you over there. Okay, until next time. Bye-bye.